two members of one of my all-time alien ant farm. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Thank you. All right. Thanks for so, having us. I'm super stoked. In April, the new album Mantras came out. Are we going to be meditating with Alien Ant Farm? What's going on right now? Yeah. <laughs> it's Am time. I going to be chilling and you know, sitting? It's time. Uh, hopefully, some people get a little like peace out of it. Yeah. I, I'm i loving So Cold. I know you guys died. You came back alive. Uh, you guys are known for aggressive breakup songs. Like When I'm going through a breakup, I want to put Alien Ant Farm on to get through it. Did you guys do that on purpose or it just happened? Um, yeah, you know, I don't know if I feel like, uh, a lot of times, like, uh, it's more of a call out to myself, I think, and the bad, uh, things I've done or not done. I, I, a lot of times the perspective I think is coming from the other person to me, maybe is a little bit of a uh -oh. ther therapy thing, or I don't know what it is, but yeah, I just, I've always, I think we've all grown up, even Ant Farm, I think the, the, the songs that 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 have the most feels tend to be those ones that aren't where everything isn't right and nothing ever really is right you know and uh yeah. um so the struggle is real and and i think <laughs> that we like take that on maybe maybe uh some people don't appreciate uh uh the 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 negative side of of a of a sappy love song usually but uh or a breakup song like you said but i certainly I love those kind of songs. Me too. So it's from the female People, perspective. You may not be fun to date. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I am the worst <laughs> person in the world. And I'm like, and I know that it's not true, but I just, I feel like I just crap on myself on the daily. So I don't know what the hell. <laughs> I do. I suck I've at dating. dating. I've been dating him for years. So <laughs> yeah. Terry, would you date him or no, not in a relationship? I feel like I've been dating him. For like <laughs> you are. You're exclusive. Like 20 years, 30 years now. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to go like silver. <laughs> We're on the forever, forever trial date period where we know nothing's going to go down sexually. It's like, uh, it's the worst relationship you can have. And <laughs> it's like a purgatory, you know? Nobody's putting out, but you're no. just besties. I can't do that. No, yeah. I'm out. Just, okay. just a lot of, just a lot of being stuck in the car together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of touring and whatnot. No docking, hopefully. Um, so you guys have been together since 1996. That's a really long time. You've taken some breaks here and there. What is the secret to staying in the rock world and reinventing yourself? Um, there are no secrets. It's kind of, you know, I think it's just um, maybe four, three or four stubborn dudes that want to keep doing it. You know what I mean? And um you know, you can set aside differences and it's weird. Uh, so much ego and alcohol and drugs kind of come, uh, it's, it's celebrated in our little culture. You know what I mean? So if yeah. you can weather those kind of things, I think, and you have a little bit of a brand that, you know, uh, we've, we've let kind of lay dormant for a while. It's nice to like give some, um, some nutrients and nurture the brand is just to see if it's even uh, viable or people are curious about it. The, the, the secret to the longevity is just, do you want to do that? You know what I mean? And, it, and a, um, sometimes it can be, you know, in our heads more romantic than it really is, or it's, it's a job for sure, but it's something that tied to the job is meeting so many new people at shows and, um, getting to kind of, you know, why getting back to why you even did this in the first place, because you love music so much, you know, it's, it's, it's all those things combined. The longevity is, is, is questionable as to how you do it. Other than I think if, if you just want to do it, right. Yeah. We kind of did, we kind of did like a big circle too, in a way, you know what I mean? We've kind of tried everything and been through everything as a band, you know, just kind of just the way it is and and it was kind of cool on this record to to like kind of we figured out that like getting back to being ourselves was kind of like the coolest thing we could do and yeah. it's it's really kind of you know like meant a lot to the band and the fans i think um so you know it's like a circle we we've yeah. tried everything you know we've written with co-writers and and uh you know released uh you know, kind of like crazy progish records or whatnot, but like this was really good to get back to being ourselves. 
I love it. I'm such a huge fan. I love mantras is giving me anthology vibes. I grew up on anthology and oh, cool. um, courageous is one of my favorite songs. It's on the gym playlist. Do you guys have a favorite song to perform? Um, uh, well, the song, all the time. The, yeah. the, the song you just mentioned courage is one of my favorites too. And live because we, we usually kickstart in the majority of our shows, that's just an opener because it's, the, you know, we picked it as an opener even just to, like, show ourselves to the world from that first record. So just the vibe, I think the excitement that we just walked out on stage, Not may, Courage might not necessarily be my favorite song, but it definitely, like, live might be one of my favorites because that excitement of just coming out on stage is still there. So it gets such a cool reaction, you know, and, and so, yeah, I mean... Courage, um, my favorite song probably to play live. Um, it changes here and there, but uh, there's a song on on an anthology called Stranded. That it's a really like mid tempo, not maybe yes. not conducive of being like a great live track, but for me, it's like uh, Stranded is like one of my favorite Alien Ant Farm songs of all time. I, I've been loving the new songs lately. Like we've been playing um, four of the songs off of Mantras on in uh, our set. And uh, those have kind of rotated into, like, my favorite to play right now. I mean, I probably have, like, an overall, you know, Stranded is fun song to play, too, from the guitar point of view. But, uh, but yeah, I've been, you know what, I've been loving playing Storms Over. It's, it's, uh, it's got yeah. a really cool, just, just a cool beat, you know, good tempo to headbang to, you know what I mean? And and it's fun to play on guitar. So I've been enjoying Storms Over. I can't yeah. wait till Aftershock. I'm going to be there at Aftershock. I'll be working media, but I'm going to make sure I don't have an interview during Alien Ant Farm because I got to run over to the oh, stage cool. you guys are on and see. I want to well, see you're going to play music. We might be opening the whole thing that seems to be the trend. So. Wow, cool. With You're going to play some of the new album though there as well? Um, I, As you're far as we know. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. And Terry, I got to see your hands. Can you show up close? Can you show me your hands? They look really thick. Do you know what they say about big thick? hands? Yeah, that you <laughs> you mess up and you hit I the wrong like... chords. <laughs> have you ever hit the wrong chord while playing? Um, Man, sometimes I hit the wrong chord in life. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. Because I was like, that's got to be an issue. But you seem to play just fine. You get along. And then, oh, yeah. okay, you know, I, 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 used I had to. I used jumbo frets. Oh, okay. That's your go-to. I saw you guys do your little promos for, you know, everyone you've signed with and what you're using. Um, Dryden, I love um, Up in the Attic, Evil, the Flavor Saver. Are we ever going to see that? Is it going to come back dark again one day? It's it's there. It's there, but it's not. Know. It's not as oh, prominent. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't think. You know, I, I, I feel like it was. I guess it was a style or something. I don't know that it I. It was a hit. Yeah, uh, I, I, I can't do that. No. <laughs> I think in the early two thousands, if a guy had the flavor saver prominently showing with puka shells, I was gonna hit on him. That was oh, the man. hot. Well, now, thing. now, then I am bringing it back. Definitely bringing it back. <laughs> You've got to do it. So, wait, whose idea was it to get with CKY and tour with them? Um, it's you know, do, uh, do you want to answer Terry or I? I remember getting offered like a while back. We had plans to do it, and I thought it was a cool idea. I've always liked the band. I've never met the guys, and still haven't met them yet. Um, the the tour, like I a think. Cool fit. Yeah, and then the tour that we had planned a couple years ago fell through for whatever reason. So I was a little disappointed. Um. And then it came back around again that just, you know, I think through booking agents, you know, band names kind of pop up and you just kind of think, okay, was, does that work? Does it not work? Yeah, even if it doesn't, it. Even, yeah, if it, do it. even if it doesn't work, sometimes we want to just do it because it seems like right and it's business and it's, you know, you can just set it aside. You do not have to love every band that you go out with. If, if, if that were the case, we'd I'd go out with nobody. I don't know who I like, but, but, uh, <laughs> We we do love a lot of bands to, to be. Clear, you don't have but. a favorite band. I know Papa Roach and you guys have you know had your fun times together. Do you guys yeah. have a favorite band to hang out with? I I don't mm. know. Don't know. To, yeah, We're, there's there's a lot of bands, but but again, the CKY thing just seemed like a good fit, and yeah. and uh, it, you know, it, it, even I have though a we're lot not of friends from bands that I like to hang out with, but not necessarily. Oh, like drink with, but not tour with. 
is that sorry i felt like we froze up for a minute there yeah yeah you froze <laughs> up for a like you mean you'd want to hang out with these bands on the side but maybe not particularly perform with oh you mean to perform with or to hang out with well it could be either or whatever you want to uh -oh. do well, I, yeah, I, I have a lot of friends that I hang out with from bands that are, I don't necessarily hang out with the whole band. But, I saw you, know, you hung out with Stormy Daniels, too. How was uh, that? <laughs> well, she's she's cool. She's really she's really nice. She came to a show in uh, Florida, and um, uh, she's dating, uh, if she still is, an old friend of ours from that. They're, like, mar they're married. Whoa. Yeah, married. Sorry. They are married. Uh, okay. But friend, friend from high school that we knew a long time ago. Dude, your friend married a porn star. He's winning at life. That's well, you know awesome. what's crazy is he is a porn star too. A, a long, <laughs> yeah, a long time ago, he he gave our demo to a, a manager that we had for years and years. Like even when we got signed to DreamWorks, I don't know if he was directly responsible for Alien Am Farms you know success or not success but he he definitely was like there and it was kind of cool that you know some people don't like to uh share stuff and want to hoard and keep anything to themselves so i love I, helping people yeah he he actually yes. now that i think about it gave our demo to john boyle an old manager yes. so it's pretty cool stormy I, Dan, the guy, yeah, the guy he gave our demo to became like our manager for years and years and years all through like anthology days and stuff like that that's really cool. Did he think it'd be a good porn soundtrack in the background? Yeah, I we haven't got offered. Actually, she, we 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 talked about like a, a video, her in a video for a brief second, and I was kind of down. But at, again, we, at the at the very launch of this album, and we haven't re released music in such a long time, I didn't want the novelty of of that to almost eclipse the music. You know what I mean? And there's no yeah. way that that wouldn't have happened. So. It, it, I think maybe in the future, maybe something funny might be kind of cool to do with Stormy, but it was it was kind of just a weird time, you know? This is an ant meditating. This is like a Buddhist Hindu meditation chill. Not That's more the vibe. Did yeah. you guys know when you're like, hey, I'm going to cover Smooth Criminal, did you go, this is going to blow up right away? This is going to be huge. Well, Not really. you know, but no. I mean, that being said, in the studio... I had little feels like when you just when you started hearing it be like just thicker and really like that radio kind of sound, it was hard to not go, dude. This again, you don't know what. But we hit, were young but, and innocent, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I was like, like we were. You guys like, are still young. Yeah, but yet. but hearing it on the main speakers at NRG, you know, beautiful studio, I was like, dude, this is a freaking hit, big time. We were standing there listening, and our A and R guy was next to me on one of the playbacks, and he was like. He bumps me and he goes, hey, you want to know what I think about this song? And I, I was like, huh, what? And, and he was like, uh, smash hit. And that's, yeah. the, that's when I was like wondering about it. Up to that moment, I was kind of like, just kind of a rube, you know, young and just happy to be there kind of situation. But when he said that, I was kind of like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. I was it on a cheerleading place. team in high school and we did a halftime to your cover of Smooth Criminal and I absolutely loved it. But you guys put me in one yeah. of the most difficult spots of my life recently. I got to be honest. <laughs> I can't choose. So Weird uh, Al Yankovic is my homie. He's my ride or die that Weird Al is life. And you guys wanted me to choose who did a better uh, parody, Weird uh, Al TikTok, or Alien uh, Ant Farm. And I'm like, it was a trick I can't question. do that. That's me. It was a trick question. Me. Weird Al wins. Period. Yeah. And you okay, know what? I'm sorry. Yeah, and I just I love him. Here, here's the thing. We both win because his is the greatest parody of all time, and ours is the greatest like tribute and cover of all time. So okay, I dig that. You're right. You're, you're in two separate categories. I cannot that's put what, you guys yeah, against each other. It's that's just, part. That's part two of the trick question. It's not even like they're not even the same thing. So yeah, it's yeah. The same thing. I want to marry the same Weird trick Al. Question with Michael. <laughs> yeah, and um, okay. So you guys thankfully reposted that you were coming by, and I have a hotline for this new show. And your fans have some questions for you guys. So can we take some questions from the fans? Hell yeah. Why okay. Not? Um, Christina asks, "Will you be bringing back the Alien Ant Farm beer?" Oh my gosh! Uh, I don't know. You had no, beer? No I'm real sorry, plans I didn't know right that. now, but 
you know, the future yeah. is wide open. This was a it thing, was though. Yeah, we we yeah. did it. We did it kind of a partnership with a, a local a local brewery. Again, like the the I novel. I have an old can. Hang on. The, the I'm like, this is so cool. I wish I tried it. We were kind of like that was like released before our even re before our record was. So partly it seemed novel to do something like that that wasn't like music. You know what I mean? It, it is a cool thing, and and the beer was good. And I'm like three years sober now, so f that beer. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. It was oh, strong, that, I man. I like the artwork. It was totally strong, and like if you drank like three or four of these, man, you were like kind of spinning. Done. But it was fun. I don't know. The future's wide open. Like I said, like I'd rather put out a spark us, I'd rather know. put out a sparkling water. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. Yeah, like a flavor of Topo Chico would be cool. Like if we could do that with them. Yeah, so I'm sober too right now for the day. Or um, a coffee. A coffee would be bomb too. I would love. You know, our age, we would love a coffee or a tea. That's like my favorite drinks <laughs> nowadays. Before I go to a concert, I have a lot of coffee. Um, okay, and then Jesse asked, "What was it like playing with the Hero Prevails in Texas? Maybe was he in that band or something?" Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I, okay I, it was amazing um, they're, was... they're awesome you know they're good I, I i thought that they were all really nice and i thought that their music was kind of creative uh and different which i like usually so yeah they were they were I great thought. guys they, they, they were, were really nice they were a fun hang they, they were kind of a little bit hesitant to you know peek their heads into our bubble which i respect you know what i mean that's kind of like um just really good guys, man. They 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 sounded tight. Great band. Um, like I said, I just they were so respectful, uh, you know, to us when when we are we're we're really approachable. I think you know we're great with fans, but even bands, we we um we know what it's like to kind of you know jump on someone's tour and feel kind of a little bit like you're not and you don't know whether you're welcome or not kind of thing. So and that yeah. the singer for I didn't know if we were still talking about the hero prevails, but. Their singer Troy just did a duet of movies yesterday on our social media. Oh, I really loved good. that app you guys used. That was so neat how everyone got to sing with you. That was really cool. I've never yeah, seen that yeah. before. Well, okay. it's, just a, it's, a, it's on the it's on TikTok and it's on Instagram, but on TikTok it's called Duet and on Instagram it's called Remix. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then Nick asked, how was playing the sick new world fest? Uh, hot. Big and hot. hot, big and hot. That's, <laughs> I like it that way. That sounds like my kind of place. <laughs> yeah. You know, was cool. I mean, we played first, yeah, we I played wish first I could... but it was full. Yeah. So was rad. I wish I could go back and do it again. I wasn't really pleased with my, my performance per se, but I mean, it was, I guess it was good enough, but yeah, I mean, personally, I just, was feeling a little weird and off and just rushed that day. So I had a good time, but yeah, I mean, I would, I would like to do it again. And, um, my kids were with me and it was so hot. I wanted to stay and see a couple bands that day. And we, we just ended up leaving cause it was just so hot. You know, we left by two o'clock. Great. If I didn't have my kids, I, I maybe would have stayed longer, but I'm not blaming them for not having a good time. I'm, I'm sure I had a better time in the air conditioner uh, washing SpongeBob than I don't well, know. Well, the good news is that you might get another chance, kids. buddy, because I think we're on for next year too. So not next year. All right. Unofficial well, announcement. I think. Maybe. Yeah. I'll be more prepared, and I will stay for a few bands. I wanted to see some bands kick my ass, and the sun kicked my ass. The heat kicked my ass. Total and mulligan parenting. show. Yeah. Sun kicks my ass on parenting can be difficult. And then I put, pulled one more question. Maria asked from Texas, um, have you guys ever had a bra thrown on stage? <laughs> yes. Probably, you have? Yeah. yeah oh, my I'm, gosh. Did you keep it or throw it back? Or not, I don't remember. I'm wearing it. <laughs> You're still wearing it. Yeah. I love it. Well, you guys one heard it first. One drummer off his throne. <laughs> <laughs> He could wear one too. Well, you guys could wear bras to Aftershock maybe underneath your shirts when I come see you guys. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day and stopping by Steph's Rock Show. I love the new album. You guys, everybody buy it, stream it. I'll tag you. 
um, and follow and listen to Alien Ant Farm. If you've been living under a rock on TikTok, they fucking rock. Oh, thank you so much for your time, too. Yeah, thanks for having us. It was fun. Anytime, guys. Thank you so much.